Hello my lovelies, welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. Today I have a little morning yoga stretch for you and it's just gonna be full of my go-to morning yoga poses. And we're gonna be targeting both the upper body and the lower body. So perfect if you just wake up feeling stiff and like you need a little stretch. It's only gonna be a 15 minute class, so hopefully it's short enough to squeeze into your morning routine. So go and grab your mat, maybe a cup of coffee, maybe a cup of tea, and we'll get started. Okay, my lovelies, we are gonna start our class in a nice and relaxed child's pose at the end of the mat. So allowing there to be a little bend in the elbows, allowing the hips to sink to the heels. Just take some nice deep breaths here. Becoming aware of the expansion of the belly on your inhale and the navel drawing back towards the spine as you exhale. And before you send your awareness and your energy out into the day ahead, just set an intention now to keep it inwards, here on the mat, focused on the body and on the flow of breath. Just gently guiding it back every time that it may have wandered. On your next inhale, slowly start to walk the fingertips a little bit further away from the body towards the top of the mat. Take a couple more breaths here, staying as straight as you can through the arms, elbows lifted. And finding our side stretch, so walk your hands over to the right and you can move your body round with the hands. Left hand on top of the right hand and just gently press your weight through the left side. And gently switch sides, walking to the left, just breathing into any tightness, especially through the sides of the body. Slowly coming back to centre. Inhale draws you forward into your tabletop. So here, knees underneath the hips, hands are underneath the shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly down as you lift the chest and the gaze. Exhale, rounding through the spine, press into the upper back, chin to the chest, tailbone draws underneath. Inhale. We're just moving with that flow of breath, bringing all of the awareness to the spine. Exhale. Inhale, and this time if you want to bring a little bit of movement in, so you just start to move the hips and the shoulders to the side. Keeping that belly drop down and the chest open. We can do the same movement as we exhale round the spine, moving the hips and the shoulders side to side. Coming into neutral spine, we're going to find our half puppy pose. So right forearm coming across the mat, left arm extends and you can always take your left hand onto a block which will make it a little bit more challenging. Forehead either rests onto the right forearm or you can drop your forehead just behind the forearm. Or if you want a little bit more, then you lift the chin and the chest and you melt the heart center down towards the mat. Breathing into any tightness in the shoulders, in the upper body. And see if you can stay in this puppy pose and just extend the right arm. Then we draw the left forearm in and just switch sides. And 
And maybe for the last few breaths, you want to extend both arms forward, which is optional, giving you a little bit more of a deeper stretch into the upper body. And slowly walk the hands in. And just round down to the heels. Let the arms come either side of the body, forehead to the mat. Let the shoulders round. Let the face relax. And maybe start to bring in a gentle rock from side to side. Massaging into the front of the hips and just rolling the forehead across the mat. Slowly from here, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, we're going to roll up into our rag doll at the end of the mat. You can let your arms hang loose or support them onto a block. My favourite thing to do here is just hold the elbows and take a little rock from side to side, keeping a soft bend into the knees. And with every exhale, we want to feel that release through the upper body. Just take one more big breath here, see if you can release any more tension from the upper body. And bringing the hands down, you might need to bend deep into the knees. We're going to walk out into our downward facing dog. And just take a moment to walk your dog out. So let the hips move, bring little bends into the knees. Anything that is just going to give you a little bit more of a stretch to the backs of the legs. And you can make these little bends as fast or as slow as you like, pausing wherever you need to. Just feeling into the body. Easing out any tightness. And slowly from here, lowering the knees down to the mat. We're going to work deeper into the hips, hamstrings and glutes. Right foot steps forward between the hands. We're just going to pause in our low lunge. So let the hands bring the right foot, make sure your right knee is above the right ankle. If it feels comfortable-ish, we still want to feel a stretch, you're going to drop your chin in towards the chest. Crown of the head drops down. And just pause here for some deep breaths, relaxing the hips as much as you can. And slowly from here on our exhale, draw back to half splits. If you can, hands stay, framing the right foot. Or we walk them in a little bit closer if that's challenging. And we're just going to pause here. Hips stay nice and square and we're going to spin the right toes out to the side. And then back to centre. We're just warming up into the hamstring and the outside of the leg before we take any folds. Breathing into any discomfort that we feel in the back of the leg, which we will be feeling here. And if we're not, we're probably not in the pose or we're very, very flexible. And see if you can take that fold. So we're going to fold with the foot central and the toes drawing in. Inhale, just lengthen the spine, even if that just means lifting the head. Exhale, folding down, even if that means just dropping the head down slightly. Big deep breaths here if this gets challenging, just deepen that inhale and exhale. One more deep breath. 
And then slowly ease off on your inhale. We've got one more. The toes turn out to the side. This is going to change that stretch slightly. Inhale, lengthen the spine, open the chest. Big exhale, fold over that right leg. Crown of the head drops. We're taking those deep breaths here in this fold. One more. Slowly releasing, bend the front knee. We're going to walk our right foot across to the left side of the mat. Slowly lowering down the right knee. So we're coming into pigeon pose and if this is challenging, especially to keep the hips square, then bring your right foot in a little closer. We want to relax here and support the body to see if you can make your way to the forearms. If you're on the forearms, you can rest your head onto a block or bring prayer hands together and just rest your forehead onto the thumbs. It's very calming for the mind to have that gentle pressure on the third eye. Otherwise, we come all the way down and we rest onto the forearms. Keep that left hip drawing down and take nice deep breaths into your right glute. Not forcing, we're just softening on the breath. One more deep breath in your pigeon pose. See if you can go any deeper into that last exhale. And slowly bringing yourself out. Give that right leg a good shake out behind you. Stepping left foot between the hands. Setting up for our low lunge on our left side, knees over the ankle. If you can, on that exhale, chin draws to the chest, crown of the head drops. And we pause here, relaxing as much as we can into the hips. And slowly from here, hands, if they can, stay framing the left foot. Exhale, draw the hips back. Maybe walk them in a bit closer. Okay, we're just going to spin those toes out to the side and back to centre. Keeping that motion going. Maybe you close the eyes here. And by closing the eyes as well, it helps to keep our awareness on our internal world. It switches us off from the external. It's just the body and the breath here. Perfect. And then from here, bringing the foot back to center, draw the left toes in. Inhale, lengthens the spine and opens the chest. Exhale, folds us over our left leg. Crown of the head drops. Big deep breaths into this fold. One more. Inhale, slowly ease off. Last time. Turn the left toes out to the side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. 
Notice if that stretch has moved round, it should be more into the outside of the leg, into the IT band. Breathe into whatever you're feeling that stretch. One more deep breath. Slowly easing out. Pigeon pose, last stretch. Walk that left foot, edge of the mat. Right edge of the mat. And slowly drop that left knee down. So the aim of our pigeon is to have our shin parallel to the top of the mat, which is pretty intense on the hips. So you bring that foot in a little closer, or as close as you need to, so you can make your way down with your hips staying nice and square, right hip drawing down. Maybe support the forehead with the thumbs. Now we rest all the way down. Big deep abdominal breaths here, softening the body with every exhale out. One more deep breath. Slowly, walking the hands back in. This time you can sit to your left glute and draw the legs together, give them a shake out. And we'll just find a seated position to finish. Bring the hands to the heart center. Lengthen the spine with one big inhale. Keep the length through the spine, but relax the upper body as you exhale. And we'll close with some morning gratitude. So just pause and in your mind, finding three things that you feel truly grateful for. Send this gratitude to yourself for taking this time out of your morning, devoting it to both the mind and the body. Bow the head to the heart. Namaste.